News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. On this Thursday, the 29th of December, uh, we're looking at the Dow futures up 162 at 33,208. This 200 period moving average right here at 32,929. It has to be a springboard. You're getting a cluster formation. Sometimes those cluster formations can turn into a spring loaded move, a coil that can go to the upside or the downside. If at any point in the next three sessions going to Tuesday, the Dow can start to trade in the 30, uh, the Dow futures 33,700. The Dow itself would be in the, uh, let's go this way. Uh, the Dow would be in the 33,580, 33,630 area. That'll be a good sign to say we're going back to at least test the top. Not being, I'm not being uh, uh, overly optimistic here. I'm just saying that's what I'm looking at. And the chances are that we are so oversold in many, many ways that I measure this, that there should be at least a relief bounce coming up in the in the S&P. The, the E-mini is trading right now up 28 at 38.36. It's got to try to get over the pink nine period moving average of 38.68 and then test the 38.92 14 period moving average by about Tuesday, maybe Wednesday without taking out 37.90 key support. Looking at the QQQ as the index 100, the left side low of November the 4th is being tested. Uh, if there can be a bounce, it's up 290 pre-market at 263. Under 259 any day in the next, going into Tuesday would be very negative. But a bounce that goes can hold halfway into the 264.50 area. Uh, so 60 minutes would be a real good positive and say the high of yesterday could be tested within a couple of days. Looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000, not so good. It's, it's really acting very poorly, but it's up now 150 at 172. It needs to get to 175. And that once again, that's also by Tuesday. Gold. Now, this is interesting. Gold has been digesting gains up to today at 1817. It's within a rectangle formation. The 1792 200 period moving average is key support. And I would say that a break into the 1852 area would be really positive. Silver's acting even a little bit better. But crude oil had a really nice bounce. Now it's given back some of that bounce. So it's in a lower consolidation range between 82, uh, I'd even say 80 and uh, 76. And TLT bonds, the uh, bonds are trading at 99.55, uh, 99.68. Yields are going higher. So stay tuned for Tommy Jr. is the market kickoff program, fabulous program, great programming here for 